guys. This is a floss tube. Um, I am Amy. I love toads. Amy Loves Toads is my channel. It is June 2020. I think it's the 18th. Tomorrow, yes, because tomorrow is the 19th. Um, Juneteenth. So, I am going to make this short and sweet. I didn't iron anything. I did open all the bags, so I don't have to do that. And I have some finishes. Um, I have a UFO. I am whipping down one of my whips. And so let's just get started. Okay. First of all, I had a question on my last floss tube about my um, Shores of Hawk Run Hollow. If you go to my last floss tube, what number? I don't even know what number this is. 52. So if you go to 51, you'll see my finished Shores of Hawkrun Hollow. And somebody asked what the ocean colors were because I changed them all. And I believe I used General Arts Summer Shower for one of them. I may have used this one, but I'm not sure, but it would be a really pretty ocean color. Classic Color Works Rain Shower. So that's a window. It, I know it looks like a big ghost over there. Um, General Arts Cottage Blue. Maybe yeah, I could, nope. And General Arts Morning Glory. So I think I used all three. And then I used DMC 927, which is the call for forward. Um, let's see if I have something white for the water. So those are my watercolors for sure is the popcorn hollow. And um, I could put them down below too when I put this stuff in the description box down below. Okay. Let me put these over here. I don't know if I'm gonna go in order. I'm just good I'm doing this, so let me um, let's start with my UFO. This one. It's just too much. It's too hard on my brain. I love it. The, there's too many colors. It, like a hate isn't, but I don't know. Hey, it's easier to follow because it had pattern keeper. Um, I do love that snail. So I finished the snail and I'm going to cut him out and put him in a book like Michelle Garrett. So if you go to Bendy Stitchy, her floss tube, um, she started this like a junk journal and she is putting in smalls, which is brilliant. So here is my snail I finished. And it's, it is a cool, it would be so cool done, but I don't have the brain power for that. Cross stitching needs to be relaxing and easy and enjoyable. And every time I pulled this out, I had to frog a hundred times. It was stressful. It was hard. I had to pay attention. And I like to watch shows on Netflix and watch Floss Tube while I'm stitching. And I can't do that when I do this. But he is adorable. And I will cut him out and put him in a little junk journal. So, this fabric right here, I. It is Color and Cotton Desert Taupe 32 Count. So, I can maybe, yeah, I'll just cut. I can use. Is that my back? That's my back. Or is that the back? I don't know. No, that's the front. So I can I have I can do some more smalls on this. So that is whipping down. But I got a snail out of it, so that's good. Um I had another finish and I have already tossed the pattern 
it was a download. The Stitch and Be Well, no, Be Well and Stitch, Be Well and Stitch, or Stitch and Be Well, hashtag. This is called Isolating Bat. I uh, did him on Feldspar. This is Feldspar, 36 count. So I have another hole. This is what Feldspar looks like. Sort of like a, a dirty blue. Blue and you rubbed it in the driveway a little bit. But I love it. I changed the red to dull it down a little bit. I think it was a really bright red. So he is small enough. He can go in my little journal also. I, I don't remember Night something is the designer. I, I'll have to put it down there because once I finish, I, I uh, threw the pattern away because I wasn't gonna stitch it again and it was a download, so. Okay, another finish. I finished my Blue Flower Summer Quilts. I'm sorry. Um, I'm doing the version down here, just I'm not doing the drum. And I cut off a couple quilts. And I, I took one of the quilts and put it over on this side. Because I'm going to hang it in my laundry area. This is Picture This Plus. Helix, 36 count. And that's what it looks like. Adorable, I love it. I did change um, the colors of the quilts, kinda. I matched the colors to the picture on the pattern. And I matched the little dogs to my dogs because we have three little brown dogs now. And I'm going to turn it into a little tiny quilt. So I started making little quilt blocks for it. Here's some little quilt blocks. And I've already uh, ripped them apart because I didn't like the way it looked. Because I had three there and the three were too big together. So I might have to just put, I don't know, three is more pleasing to the eye than two. So I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. So I'm gonna turn it into a little mini quilt and hang it in my, not my sewing room, laundry area. So cute. And that is by Janine McGowan at The Blue Flower. I tell you that was Helix. Picture this plus. Okay, one more finish. Where is the pattern? Where is the pattern? Picture. I finished my Biscornu, or Biscornist, Chipping Sparrow by Crossed Wing Collection. And it turned out so adorable. So freaking adorable. I love it. It looks like a little nest. So here's the bottom. It was all full, full coverage. You do it on 28 count, two over two, but then when you stitch the little eggs, you do those one over one. I added some little beads. Did I add a bead to the bottom? I don't, yeah, maybe I did. There might be a little bead in there. I don't know. I love it. I have it already um, displayed in my living room over there by a little cross-stitched robin. So in my haul, I bought the next one. So, so cute. Um, I wanted to pass this pattern on, like pass the stash, and I went to gather it up and had it all gathered up, like have I everything, and then I had that. So that's the middle, that is the eggs one over one, and I could not find, this is my working copy. I couldn't find the regular copy, and come to find out, I threw away 
the real copy and kept the working copy. So I would pass this on, but you would get an already highlighted working copy and the, the real one's gone. Threw it in the trash, the trash has already been taken out. So, <laughs> I don't know. If, I'm not gonna stitch it again. And if I am, if I did, I would probably buy another one because I wanna highlight. I like to highlight. It helps to highlight those itty bitty one by one, one over one stitches. But if you would like this that doesn't have the original egg pattern, it has my working copy highlighted. Um, just tell me, um, say you would like to stitch the nest and if nobody wants it, I'll just toss it. So. Janet from Janet Jabber just got one too. She says she's going to stitch it. I think she got all three of them, which I'm going to eventually do. Let's see here. Okay, whips. Let me take a sip of water. Hi, Janet, by the way. I hope you're doing okay. Also, thank you for the cards. I've gotten some cards in the mail. Um, Angie Meyer, who has a floss tube, she sent me a card. It was so sweet. And Nisi, who I think might be Nisi Lynn because the return address was Texas. And I know at least Nisi Lynn lives in Texas, but it didn't say Nisi Lynn. It only said Nisi. So Nisi, thank you so much for the card. It was very sweet. Um, I have been out in my garden a lot. So I wanted to stitch one of my insect. And what did I do? I think I did him, the moth. So he is an oak uh, glasses again, an oak worm moth, an oak worm moth. He, he is the one I've had to rip the wing out twice because you have to pay attention to this little sucker when you're stitching him. Okay, so here he is and I stitched him well, I stitched the whole thing. This is 36 count linen. Just 36 count linen. So there he is. And nothing is ironed, guys. I don't have time to do that right now. That's just, that would just be one more stress and worry. And I don't need any more stress and worry. So, and this is the whole thing. And I love it so, so, so much. I did this little guy right here. I stitched. I backstitched him in the wrong color, I realized. And so I, I ripped all of his backstitching out. He is a, he's a cricket. And so he doesn't have his backstitch yet. But it is so freaking cute. This is called the Insect Sampler. And who's it by? Stony Creek. Stony Creek. Um, I stitched a lot more than I'm going to show you, but I don't want my video to be too long. And my son just left to go grocery shopping for me because he is an angel sent from God. I hate grocery shopping. It hurts my brain. He likes to grocery shop. So I gave him the list and he went for me. Okay. Uh, whip go happened and I threw it out the window only for this month only for June I'll do whip go again next month but this month has been hard mentally hard um, so I need something my whip go picked a Christmas thing and I didn't I, I don't I just can't be stitching Christmas right now so I picked Emily's house I just pulled it out and picked it this is by Lindy Stitches, and I changed everything except the fabric. Stitching this on 36 count oaken, right? Yeah, 36 count oaken. My picture of this plus, not ironed. And we got a little margin, but it will be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. 
but that's where I'm at. See if I put it over here, is that worse? And then I could put, I, th I think I might have it before if I show this. So the house, see my house? I'm doing a variegated brown and tan. So it's gonna look sort of wood slatty instead of the mustard color. All my flowers are in navy gray and then some white flowers in there. So my, all these flowers right here, I think they were supposed to be the mustard color also, maybe? Where's my picture? Yeah, and I made them white. These were supposed to be orange and I made them brown or, oh, probably Garden Gate, which is my favorite. Um, so I'm, yeah, I don't like color too much, so I'm taking a lot of the color out. So I stitched on that. Oh, and I started the words because the words are everything. And you need to head over to Emily C's floss tube. Maybe I'll link the, um, the number down and you need to go adopt some rubber duckies because children are wonderful and they need our help. Emily C is wonderful. Um, let me put this back so I don't. Okay, I worked on my cardinals and I think this is called, I'm reading it backwards, red Red birds and raspberries. I hope y'all can hear me. I have the fan going. It's too late to turn it off. And I'll put in a before picture if I have one. This, I still think this blue is way too bright. I told my husband a couple days ago, I was like, I, this bright, this blue is so freaking bright. It makes that bird pop out way too much, but just, it's too late to turn back now. I think that's a song. Too late to turn back now. Um, this is a mystery linen I picked up. It's Stitch Fest. I almost said Stitch Away. Uh, I've never been to Stitch Away, not yet anyway. Um, at Stitch Fest, and so I don't know what the color is. I don't know what the count is. I need to um, measure it, but you know what? It is actually, I like that color. That looks gray. It is not that muted. It is, it is like a bright baby blue. So the closer I bring it in, the more I like it. Hmm. So I don't think I had any of the female cardinal done when you guys saw it last. Oh, and I know I didn't have any of the male cardinal backstitch, so he's all backstitched now. And he looks amazing, and I wish my fabric was this color, because I like this. Dang it. Is there any way you can mute a color after, mute a linen after you have stitched it without messing up? That's probably the dumbest question y'all have ever heard. <laughs> Isn't it? No, Amy, there is not. Okay, this is a new start. <laughs> I started. Read our sampler by Hello from Liz Matthews. Isn't that beautiful? Um, I started up here in this corner with those lines. I am stitching this on 40 count bramble by picture this plus <laughs> and that's all I got are those lines that's it so yep I just started that yesterday last night um I did change my colors some of my colors and I'm going to show you 
first, the red, and it is called the red R sampler because that R is red. And it's a bright red. And it's too bright for me. It's even brighter than this bright, this red. <laughs> so I took this red, no, I took the original red and I dulled it down a little bit to this. And then I was like, hmm, let's dull it down a little more. So really my red is 3830. The original red is 39, no, 349. 349. So I dolled it down a lot. It looks more rust. But um yeah. Okay, and then there's these two blues in the pattern. 3842. And I am using this one because it's a little it's my colors aren't right. They're clear, but that's not right. That's right, that's right, right there. So I'm using the color and cotton glory blue. And then this one, which is 336, it calls for. It's got like a, it's like a purpley blue maybe. And I am using that one instead. And that is also a color and cotton battleship. So I muted down my red and my blues. I don't think I'll mute anything else down. Um, I haven't gotten to any of the greens yet, but I think my greens are my greens are probably okay. We'll see. Another new start, which I don't have a picture for because I downloaded it um, on. my iPad and then I only printed off the well it is a free pattern I guess I could show you like a I could show you really really like flash it to you so I have seen Jesse from Jesse Marie does stuff stitching this for a while and then I was watching um, the rocking stitch is it the rocking stitcher yes um, what's her name Jemima she has an awesome plus too she does really big full coverages and it's really cool. She started this too. So I went ahead and, and every time I see it, I love it so much. It is the flowers of the month. So there. And I'll put a picture of the whole thing, what it's gonna look like right here. But I don't think it's stitched. So I started this one over one I think it's 28 count. Oh, did I write? Let me see. Did I write it somewhere? Probably not. 28 count something, but I, it's one over one. So that is a carnation start. So it'll be on this piece, all my little flowers. And I don't even know if I have that right. I don't have my glasses on. So you could be looking at the back. I don't know. No, you're not, because there's the needle miner. So that was a new start. I just felt like stitching flowers really bad. Because I've been in my garden a lot. I just have flowers and birds on the brain. Okay, my morning stitch, the one I get up before everybody because Basil wakes me up. He starts rolling around in my neck, putting his little head and going, Ee! driving me bonkers. But he likes to wake me up early. So we get up before the boys and I come in here with my coffee and my morning stitch has been Coffee First by Brenda Gervais. And my girlfriend Natalie started this and she has a floss tube. Handmade, I have to put it down there cause I can never remember her name. It's like handmade and homemade in the same thing. Okay, in the same title. And that is where I'm at. 
and I'm using all the call for colors except I changed her skin color I darkened her up so I am doing I'll do a line of white for the with the cup and then I'll go stitch something else and then I'll do a line of white of the cup because that cup is ginormous I am going to change there is um, some steam coming out of her coffee cup and I'll probably make that gray so it'll show up better. And this is 40 count. Forty count, I don't know. I don't know. Uh forty it it feels like a color in cotton. So Okay, lastly, is Mini Top Frog, my hay. You will not be able to see the whole top, but I'll put a picture in from when I showed it. I think my last video sh I showed it and the whole top is done. So now I have started, I think I have the first two rows right here done. And so I will work on this this whole month and then the next month I'll switch to my Eight of Pentacles, my spider paid. So yeah, you're not going to be able to see or tell much, but uh, there it is. So it's all. <laughs> It's all like over here um, but that's the second row coming down and I'll put yeah I'll put it over there what the top looks like so I think the frog is like right here once I get a little bit more over I'll move the q-snap and when I move the q-snap I'll take a picture of it or I'll do a floss tube so y'all can see the whole thing and now that I have pattern keeper all these park threads, I'm just working them down. So um, all these, there was a bunch of park threads right here and I've just worked them in. So all these park threads will go away, which will be nice. Cause although, you know, it's fine. It's fine stitching with them there. It would be nice not to have them there cause it looks like a rat's nest. And they're, I mean, when they're untangled, they're, they're fine. They look more tangled than they are. I just have them sort of twisted and then I roll them up and, and they look awful, but they're not bad. So this is 25 count, one over one, and I think it's called easy grid or easy count. And that is not all the stitching I have done, but that's all I'm going to show. I'll show you my haul. got the next Biscornis, which is a cardinal and look I haven't looked but I think that leaf I mean that feather might be one over one which would be amazing um, there's some couching of some thread which will make it look so real and I went ahead and got the fabric for it so it'll be 28 count just a linen it's full coverage, so it really doesn't matter what your linen looks like, as long as it's 28 count. I got, do I want to take this out of the bag? Uh, okay, I got a little spider mill hill. I probably will start that around October for Halloween. He'll be like a little Halloween decoration. I love decorating with spiders and bats at Halloween. And then I got, so when I was on one, two, three stitch, getting the uh, Cardinal, the Scornia, you know, no pattern can travel alone. So I went and was looking at cool nature patterns and I found this one and got this. 
it is an anniversary sampler. So you put your name right there, your name and his name, or his name and your name. Um, I'm probably going to change this pink background to tan beige. And then this scripture right here, I'm gonna rechart um, a line from I've Got You Babe from Sunny and Cher because I Got You Babe is my husband and I's song. And I got the linen for it. 36 count, just white linen. Um, our 19th year anniversary is this October, so our 20th year is next October. So it'd be nice to start this and have it done by our 20th anniversary, which is next year. So I would have a, if I started soon, have a year and a few months to do it. Um, and that's all my haul, just those two things. No, three things, those three things and the fabric. Uh, told you about Wipco. Um, oh, okay, uh, Janine McGowan from The Blue Flower. She made her first floss tube, so you need to go check it out and I'll put it down below. Uh, she did wonderful, and I'm so excited to see her face and hear her voice. And in the news, I joined the Tudor Rose Sampler Guild. They've been doing Zoom meetings, like virtual meetings, instead. And so I joined, and I meet with my Texas girls on Tuesday through Zoom. Um, I haven't been to a guild meeting yet, but... Uh, they meet once a month, so I, I'll go next month. Um, I think that's it. I wanted to tell you about two YouTubes that I watched. So they're not floss tubes, but they are YouTubes. Um, and I'll put them down below too. I just enjoy these so much. White Cottage Company. Uh, her name is Mary. And she just makes the most beautiful things out of trash. Not, and I'm not talking trash out of trash can. Like she will take a bench and just make it amazing or a can and make it a flower pot. Um, so it's White Cottage Company and her name is Mary. And then Christine McConnell. I just watched a video of her painting an oil canvas of her, of her, cat her deceased cat she made this up it, and this is like only her 10th oil painting and it was amazing incredible she explains how she does it um, where your eye is drawn on the canvas and she tells you how to do it and so now I want to start oil painting because I can paint with acrylic and I in art school I did paint with oil paints but I don't remember how to do it. Like, I think you have to use turpentine to clean your brushes and stuff. <laughs> so it would, it would be a chore, but it was amazing. So I will put her thing, her channel down below too, but just go watch that. And if you don't watch it, go to the end and just see the painting of her and her cat. It's incredible. And just to think that it was only her 10th painting. Okay, um, I might put some pictures at the end. I'm not sure. I might have some garden pictures and my husband's been working on the bus a little bit. He has it on the rotisserie, so he has a big rotisserie, like a chicken, and the bus is on it and the bus is flipped upside down so he can work on the bottom of the bus, on the Volkswagen bus. It's 1958 for anybody who out there is curious, um, Volkswagen bus, so. Okay, I'm going, love you, bye. Again, but I want to show you somebody. This is my garden. Oops. 
the DVD. You can't then it's not like a single at all. I try to get up close, but I don't understand. Thank you.